I don't think I will, to be honest with you. But uh, uh, if, if I were to win, it would be because um, I was just very lucky and uh, lucky the same way we were to, to get Danita to come to Purdue. Um, so uh, hopefully that will be the case. Just good fortune allowed me to make some, some shots in the dark that, uh, that were, were accurate. I don't know, see, it's kind of tough because they've known her for so long through, because she lives in Indianapolis, so he's known her through high school. And I've only known her like a year and a half now, so I don't know. Maybe just because she talks to me a lot and we really got close in Europe on our Europe, European trip to her. I think she would probably switch with the head coach because I know how much she admires me and uh, wants to be like me. And matter of fact, she's going to do some coaching uh, this spring with uh, the local volleyball club. So I think that's even more evidence that, uh, you know, her she has a grand desire to be like her head coach. So I, I'd say that she would want to switch with me. Um, I would say Carrie Grinnell because she can like, she's really quick. She's really athletic, and she's still tall, so Denise really wouldn't lose any of her height. So, probably Carrie, because she's just a really good athlete, and really strong in general, and good spirit, so. I would probably say Blair Bashan, just because she's quick, and she's really fast, and um, she's really athletic, and um, I think it would be nice to be little and fast for once in my life. <laughs> um, I would say it's like read people's minds <laughs> to know what she was thinking, know what people are thinking. Uh, I don't know. It seemed like something like D would like. <laughs> well, maybe uh, Inspector Gadget because she has you know extremely long arms, and I think that would uh, would fit very very well for her. Um, so I'll just go with the Inspector Gadget. Power. Probably to read people's minds. Because you never know when they're being a front, so you know, read people's minds, I think. Mm. I would guess her apartment um, or wherever her, her fiance is, one of those two. That's when she's not spending time with me. I would say probably uh, uh, she prefers to uh, be in her apartment um, or shopping. Um, but I would guess, knowing Danita, she does her shopping, uh, very high-priced places that may be outside the Lafayette area. So, um, but probably her apartment. Well, I know she likes spending time with her fiance, so probably her apartment, because she just bought a new TV for him, and so it's at her apartment, so. And I know she likes watching TV, like all the gossip channels, and stuff like that. So, uh, probably her apartment with her boyfriend. Um. My apartment <laughs> because we just got a new huge TV so and a Wii so it's been fun. <laughs> I would I would say it would be the Indianapolis Colts, um, and and that's boy that's partially a guess. Um, she and I have not sat down and really talked a lot about uh, professional sports teams and what she does. Um, on a Sunday afternoon or, or whatever, but I, I don't think she's a big baseball gal. Um, played a little, she played some basketball before she um, devoted her time strictly to volleyball, but I'm going to say, um, I guess she's, she is loyal to her state. I'm going to say that her favorite team is the Indianapolis Colts. Probably, I think because even though she's from Indianapolis, I heard her talking about the Bears, that she liked the Bears, because we have a lot of girls from Chicago. So I think she agreed with them, so probably Chicago Bears. Um, either the Chicago Bears or the New York Yankees. I would say she always wears her hair like in a little bun with a bow and like her headband, and I know a couple times she's asked me for like a piece of gum. I think it's like, like this Orbit, like watermelony kind, like orange kind or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> or last year I know she used to drink Rockstar before a game. So I don't know which year this year. But I would say those are some of the things. I, I don't know. Um, I guess I'll take a guess at what Danita's pregame ritual might be. It would be um, um, to make sure she plays uh, Pepper. 
in, uh, in partner drills before the match with the same person. And I think, I think that's Pierce, but I don't know that for sure, but that, that'd be my guess. Uh, I wouldn't say I have a pre-game ritual. I just always um, chew the same gum for each game, and I spit it out in between games two and three, and I always wear my hair the same way. <laughs>